Frazier. Very chilly tonight, Katie. Oh yeah, well I want to talk about those wind chills because we're still seeing some strong winds here in El Paso. The International Airport is reporting nearly 40 mile per hour wind gusts as we speak. Now I want to show you current temperatures. You can see right now it is 44 in El Paso, 34 in Las Cruces. That is the air temperature. But when you add the wind onto it, look at what the wind chill is. 35 in El Paso right now compared to the 40 degree temperature and 24 in Las Cruces and we are not even at the coldest period of the night. So certainly wind chills will be a factor overnight tonight even into our day tomorrow as we're expecting breezy conditions tomorrow as well. Now it's not going to be as strong as we've seen over the past couple days, but we are going to be seeing those wind gusts up to about 25 miles per hour, mostly in the PM hours. I think all of us will feel the impacts of these winds tomorrow. Now here's a look at your forecast lows. You can see 33 in El Paso, 25 in Las Cruces, 24 in Deming and 26 up in TRC. But because of those wind chills could be feeling quite colder than what these temperatures are actually showing. But tomorrow we're not really going to warm up all that much and that's why it's really important this time of year you protect the four P's. So that goes for your pipes, your plants, your pets and your people as well. Now all of these things are important of course for your well-being <laughs> and your happiness. Plants, I know they make some people happy, but pipes are important. Your pets and people of course are obviously important as well. So an idea to keep you a little bit warmer, you could use that fireplace that you have. You don't normally use it all year long, but right now would be a really good time to use it. And that'll not only warm you, but your pets as well and your plants if you put them close to the <laughs> fireplace as well. And here's a look at your forecast highs. So very cold for tomorrow. 51 in El Paso, 49 for Las Cruces, not even making it out of the 40s up there. 46 in Deming and 44 down in Sierra Blanca. So another cold day is in store and the cold temperatures are only going to continue over the next several days. So, yeah, well, switching gears, should you be decorating? Yeah, I could say go ahead and decorate, although it will be cold over the next several days. So if you do, if you're a late decorator, make sure you wear a jacket, some gloves as well. Just, hey, if it comes out good, send some pics into here at ABC7. Your 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Room looks like this with a breezy day expected for tomorrow, but slight warm up through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We are watching the potential for some rain. We'll let you know what we think about that. And then we're not only or we're not going to be reaching the upper 50s until it looks like the start of the next week. Stephanie. All right, Katie. Thank